good YouTube it's your boy dev back again for another review to NLE Choppa's album debut album actually top shots up now if we all go know y'all know look y'all know about Shata boys Shata boys I always tell you guys Shata boys if you never seen top Shata, um it is a Jamaican mute movie that was about what 20 years ago and now, you know, every time you see, every time I see a Jamaican, at least, I'm always calling him a shata, which means, you know, a gangster. You know, like, nobody to fuck with. And the image that NLE Chopper gives off is he's definitely a certified, you know, uh, banger. You know, that's that's just the, the safest way I'm going to say it because I don't like to judge people's appearance. Uh, the one thing I will say about this album before I go into it is I loved NLE Chopper's just passion. When I first listened to his XXL freestyle, um, that was my first time going into NLE Chopper. I didn't know what to expect. He sounded like he had a little bit of Memphis, sounded like Young Dolph. I was correct on that. He is from that area. So it kind of made sense, you know, where his realness derives from. Look, this is my thing. You can have all the passion, and it's like, again, it's not about what you say, it's how you say it. So the fact that, you know, he's saying it so direct, and he's saying it so loud, and he's saying it so proud, can sometimes comes off as it's good when I'm not gonna let that mask off. It just it, it really is good, but at the same time, it's a little bit it's a little bit bled when you do it for 19, 20 tracks. Um, that's the first problem I got to say about this. I sound like a broker record man nowadays in 2020, especially it's been since 2019. Everybody wants to make their album a fucking novel. I don't understand that. It's 2020. Why the hell do we need 20 tracks of NLE Chopper shouting at me? I don't need that. I honestly did not need that. And it's crazy because I know, I feel like it's not even at this point the artist's fault. It's the record label's fault. It's Warner's fault. Because they're allowing this. They know that they need the numbers. They know that they need the sales. And they need, they need a certain amount of quota to hit. So they're not allowing these artists to just do what they want to do. Because I feel like, why is every artist doing 20 tracks? It just makes no sense to me. If I had to say, look, my the only I only love two tracks on here. If you, but the, the crazy part is one of the tracks made my playlist. If you make my playlist, man, it's instantly a banger for me. All right. You made my playlist, and I got to say is that Walk em Down. That Walk em Down featuring Roddy Rich and um, what was that other one talking to? Uh, the Walk It Down. And um, I think it was Murder Talk, I believe. Who, uh, who the fuck up in my trap I was the other track that I liked on here because it had that old school that... Doo -doo 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 like that's why I was fucking with that. But the other thing is, come on, shot top flow three, top shot top flow, shot top flow four, shot top flow five. Like, why do you need so many shot tops on the track? You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't understand why why there were so many tracks and they all sounded the similar. It sounded so similar, like it didn't do anything. I had fans in my Twitch account that were saying or my Twitch uh, video they were saying, oh. Shata Flow 3 is better than Shata Flow 4, and Shata Flow 2 is better than Top Shata Flow. I'm sitting there like, it is not good. This album for me is not good. If I had to give that album a rating, it would be a 5 out of 10. That's probably the lowest rating I've ever given. And not to not to discredit NLE Chopper, but I feel like the fact that he's just so one-sided in music, he didn't do anything different. Oh, that's exactly what I want to talk about. The thing is, he's so straightforward when it comes to his music. You can't have 16 to 17, 15 tracks of that because it's going to get old because you're going to run out of context to talk about. And then uh, towards the end of the album with Depression Made It Happen, Watch Out For The Narcs, he started getting to a slower type of emotional vibe, emotional trap. And I'm sitting there like, yo, that does not work. I'm cool with experimentation, but that does not work at all. I don't know what direction he was trying to go with that. Maybe he was trying to test the waters, see if it could work out for his next project. I really didn't get it. This just wasn't really an enjoyable listen for me. From top to bottom, I think that it was a little repetitive. I think that, you know, he just tried a lot. He tried too hard. His aggressiveness kind of gets, it overtakes you at a certain point in the album. Um, you know, because that's the one thing that is, is, that's the one thing that works for NLE Chopper. The fact that he's so aggressive, the fact that he's so experienced, the fact that, you know, you can feel his pain. But when you're talking about it after nine to ten tracks, it's kind of just like, why are we, st what are you still doing? Like, why are you still so angry? Can you give us something else? Can you actually rap? Can you talk about some shit? Look, I'm not talking about him as a person because his shit that he's doing now spiritually that he's going, he got going on on his Twitter and whatnot and understanding and about the sun gazing and all that shit. I'm cool with that. I definitely am a nature person. I try to save all them animals. I try to save as many plants as I can. I understand that. Be one with, be one with earth. 
But when it comes to the music, man, there definitely has to be a change when it comes to the following project because I feel like while you have, you know, such a fan base, it will disappear. Look, it will. I promise you, it will disappear. And why I say that you have a certain kind of swag in the way you uh, rap, being from Memphis and all, and the fact that you've been through all that. You know, you could you could speak about that. You're not one of these rappers that are fake. I think you got that going for you, but you don't really need 20 tracks of that. Give us 12, give us 11, and keep it moving. That's just how I feel, man. Get the comments below, man. Let me what you think. Let me know what your favorite track on the album. Uh, like I said, who the F up in my trap? Walk him down with Roddy Rich. Felt like those are the two best uh, tracks on the project, and that's probably it. There's literally the only two project, the only two tracks I took from the project. And, you know, I'm kind of just going to just forget about this, really, because it is definitely forgettable and it's not what I was expecting after I heard that XXL freestyle. So, that being said, man, get the video 3,000 likes, man. Get new vinyl on the wall. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'm just what you're here. And, uh, yeah, until the next time, man. Look, I have nothing against NLE Chopper, but this is just about the music, man. And it's just not that good. Till next time, man, we out. Peace.